Hello everyone, it's Kay here and I'm here today with my camera book and that can only mean one thing, hashtag DWP 100 things as being held by Dances with Put Balls. I have left various links to Rebecca's channel to go over and check the lady out. Uh, excuse the dogs, they're playing and so on and that is fine by me but it might sound a bit awkward at times because it's squeaky toys and stuff. However, it's Saturday and time is passing and I am now about to share with you numbers 46, 47 and 48 in the um, 100 Things Challenge. Now I have had some help, I can't lie about it and I wouldn't anyway. Um, my lovely friend Marina Hopkinson, Mari Hop on YouTube, who made this glorious bookmark, came to my rescue because I was feeling de devoid of inspiration and um, <coughs> whatever else you need to get through a challenge like this. And bless her, she came up with some pictures for inspiration and I have very happily adopted some of the ideas that Marina suggested and hence today we are having mini pin cushions today at number 46. At 47 while sorting out the things for my mini pin cushions I stumbled across a packet of beads, uh, buttons, beg your pardon, that I bought <coughs> excuse me, many moons ago, I keep saying many moons ago and seriously since I started this challenge I've found things that have got no date in my mind at all or a year. Um, <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Um, so I've put the buttons to good use and I will show you that project very shortly. And the last thing again was inspired what by one of Marina's um, photographs that she sent me of all things crafty and I've made some toppers so without further ado I'll put my little book over there so I get the numbers right it's all about numbers at the moment I'm gonna get to 50 this weekend if it drives everyone around me bonkers here are my lovely lovely little mini pin cushions I've got a bit of glue strands going on here from the ribbon <coughs> oh dear excuse me please um yes these were inspired by a photograph that the lovely Mary Hop sent me they're a bit ropey and a bit rugged but do you know what they will do what they are here to do the material is a lovely lovely cotton and it's got these little hearts on it and I bought it in the works many many moons ago when I was getting gung-ho about making some things and making my own um, bows and that kind of thing to put on to projects and whenever I went into the works to it for anybody in the UK that goes in there they sometimes have these wonderful packets of material that have matching buttons and ribbon and all that kind of thing with it well this was a standalone just this material and I thought oh I do like that so having made a circle stitched through buttons on both sides and then passed the double thread over and back through the button in the front. You get this lovely squidgy um, puffy little thing that would be ideal as a little miniature pin cushion. Not to hold great big long pins because you'd end up giving yourself some injury but certainly for shorter pins for smaller projects or indeed just for keeping your um, needles at close to hand these are absolutely ideal and I am tickle pink with how they've come out because like most things I do I just sat down drew around, <laughs> gosh, drew around a plate stitched the two bits together stuffed it full of wadding and then the buttons that I mentioned earlier I've matched up so it is the same button under each of the um, little paper flowers and the ribbon then the ribbon bow if you like was just added underneath the flower for a bit of extra 
uh, prettiness and that was all it took but you know time consuming nonetheless because you do want everything to look nice even though it is a bit flawed in places I wouldn't mind if I received a lovely little pin cushion like this so I went on to make four which have come out really nicely that's wild orchid flowers in the centre the cheap cheap buttons that came in a, in a great big pack in different colours and those are my little mini pin cushions and they are number 46. Then I got to thinking about my buttons and with buttons I'm afraid I always think of Betsy Doodle or Noodle who is a wonderful wonderful lady here on YouTube and does some beautiful beautiful work. She undersells herself all the time and actually she's a very very clever very lovely lady and such a soft heart but anyway one of her things was button fairies which I was privileged enough to have sent to me and, and really was very delighted by that but I got to thinking as I say what am I going to do with the buttons I'd found another of the heart um, embellishment things that I'd well, I bought this one and another one with the elongated heart that I did the uh, peacock napkin on. And I thought, oh no, I'll just put some buttons around the edges. This is um, a flappy bit in the centre anyway. So it's actually quite clever because you can either have the um, wall hanging as it sits here at the moment or you can turn it over and have it plain in the centre and put someone's name on it. Or indeed, you can have it plain and just have the centre buttons whichever way you want, really. I had intended to paint over them with gesso and, you know, ink them and pretty them up. But I just thought those colours are just so lovely. So instead of inking and painting, I just doubled up on some of the little buttons and made it quite dimensional. As you can see, there's two here. I have gone colour on colour so as to keep it, you know, relatively easy to spot the different colours. But I just thought it was huge fun. And I think in, in the right light, with the natural finish of the buttons, it's going to look very very effective and it would actually be nice for a child's room as well obviously way up high on the wall but it would serve a purpose so that was that one I haven't done anything with the wooden bead this time just left the jute string to keep everything together but it is quite a pretty little something and then I went on that was number 47 and 48 again inspired by Marina's photographs that she sent me I have made six card toppers or tags or whatever you'd like to use them for and what I've done here is just cut out these lovely lovely bits of paper and stamps from a G45 graphic 45 pad sweet moments I believe it was don't quote me no, don't quote me. I really don't recall exactly which one it was. But I cut up the little stamps, used a little bit of the paper that came in between the stamps on the page. And I've just added, hopefully you can see it, a little bit of glitter to the centre of the little daisies there. I've used a little bit of mirror board in pink just to add a bit more interest. The bow with the green button to marry up with some of the other colours that are within the tag. And I went on to make six of those. The little stamps, of course, are the thing that are different within the tag. The paper at the back is one of those ombre style papers that goes from cream right up to the mottled pink so in actuality whilst the components are the same the colours do vary quite considerably depending upon where the die landed for the cutting out. There's some little Easter bits here and again the daisies and it's just such a fresh lovely shaped 
to work with as well. I did I did enjoy doing those. There's a little lady, a little girl, possibly a little girl. And again the trellis work which was just a, a large die that I've cut up and made pretty bits with. And then another little girl and there's a little deer there. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. I don't know that it's worth it. These the, these stamps are very, very tiny. Are you going to focus? Oh, yes, you can just make out the deer there within the stamp. But it really is lovely, lovely papers. You can't fault Graphic 45, but to actually have been able to make these tags just using scraps from a sheet is... A lovely thought because I you know I'm very very sparing with my graphic 45 and I only actually use it on occasions it's not something that I drag out all the time I, I did at one point intend to have one of each of the range but they're so prolific in what they send out that soon went by the by because they are jolly expensive but worth the money from a, a print and value point of view and that is the final one and again it's another little egg so I hope you've enjoyed seeing them they, they're just you know ordinary and it's the layering and it's the colours as always that help things to come together and you know really and truly I'm finding that you can do just about anything with anything that you've got lying around if you have to put your mind to it. And being on a non-spend embargo, I don't have an awful lot of choice <laughs> at the moment, which is another reason for, you know, trying to get through the challenge and um, getting the job done, so to speak. But there we are. So those are 45, sorry. 46, 47 and 48. Thank you so much again for sharing this time with me. I will be back tomorrow with the winner of the giveaway that I set up last week. And there will probably be another giveaway this week as well because I am rapidly becoming inundated with all the things that I've made. So thank you once again. Take care everyone. Happy crafting. Bye bye for now.